everyone, so I watched a video about small town photography and how you don't have to be in a huge city or a beautiful, like a stereotypical beautiful place to create beautiful content. Um, it was originally, the one that I saw was by Evan Ran Ranf Ranft? I don't know, I'll link it below, but I thought it was really interesting and I'd like to try it out and maybe give a few of my tips to you. It is pretty windy out, so I'm not going to film um, outside because you probably won't be able to hear me. I, so I am currently in North Dakota for my last semester of school and I do not find North Dakota to be particularly attractive. There's not a lot here. There's flat land, and that's about that's about it. Um, there's a few cities, and I am in one of them, one of the larger ones. And I was driving down kind of the industrial side of town, and there's some beautiful old signs that I really want to take a picture of. And it's not, you can't keep the same frame of mind of, I don't live in a pretty place, so I am not going to get good content. Um, you kind of have to just make it your own and challenge yourself. And so I am here at a old gas station that still works. They still come out and pump the gas for you. But it is kind of awkward because there's still people here and they obviously see me taking pictures. Um, but it is very beautiful. found this little kind of um, windowsill almost on the side of a storage building and I think it would be a pretty cool shot so we're gonna attempt to take some pictures there. <laughs> Another thing about your smaller city or less popular city for photos is that not a lot of people are going to have pictures from there. So you're going to create unique content that not very many people will have. As beautiful as like the Grand Tetons are, there's millions of pictures there. So they all, and you can have your certain style, but they all sort of look the same. But wherever you're from, there's probably not a lot of photographers or influencers or people that just enjoy taking video or pictures. So you just, it takes more effort to find those places and make it cute and interesting. So it really challenges you and makes you a better photographer in general. I made a little bit of an outfit change. To be more comfy and I'm in my favorite t-shirt but another thing to keep in mind with creating content in your smaller town is find beauty in the everyday things like I took a picture of Ben just filling up gas on his motorcycle and I think it's a beautiful picture today I went to one of my favorite coffee shops and I just took pictures in there. And you have to be more confident in what you're doing. It's going to be awkward and weird in a smaller town. Uh, people typically don't understand why you wanna take pictures or taking pictures of yourself. Um, it's more acceptable in places like LA or big cities where there's thousands and thousands of people. But when your town has 8,000 people in it, you probably know a majority of them. So it can get uh, uncomfortable doing that in front of them. But you just need to break out of your comfort zone, which is what I did today. I, in the coffee shop, it was a busy place. Um, but I just asked the girl, is it okay if I take pictures in here? And she's like, go for it. So, 
you just have to break out of that realm and you can find things just like a playground i found this one swing set that i took pictures at and it's not it's pretty common every place has a swing set and you just need to get creative with it and i also found an old bike rack and it's all bent and not very pretty but i still made it beautiful it's up to you to make the vision reality and you can draw inspiration from the big towns and kind of in intertwine your world with that world and you just need to be creative about it there is a girl that i follow on instagram and i met her name is Kylie Kaddish and she creates beautiful pictures and portraits of herself and with her husband in the craziest of places by dumpsters in construction zones and you wouldn't typically think of them as a place to shoot photos and find pretty portraits but she creates this awesome content around it and it just proves you don't need to be in a crazy big town or beautiful park to do it. So hopefully that is helpful for you. I know that I always need that reminder. And don't forget to check out the original video down below and you can subscribe if you want to, like if you feel like it, and I'll see you later.